What is up y'all? It's your girl Riz and welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, thank you for rocking with me for another week. We do all things fashion, fine jewelry, and beauty on this channel. Today I am doing a jewelry video. We're doing an everyday jewelry video. I've done this once before, but I figured because we're on this fine jewelry journey together that I would update you guys at least once a year to show you guys what I'm wearing every single day. So I just wanted to preface this to say that it hasn't really changed too, too much from last year. If you guys did watch my previous uh, video from last year, I would say that a lot of things stayed the same except my ears, I think, changed almost entirely. And otherwise I've added like a one-two piece that I wear every single day. I've added some pieces to my collection, but I just don't wear them every single day. Okay, so we are going to start off with my hands. So my hands have, haven't changed a whole lot. I will do close-up b-roll for you guys, but we'll start with my right hand. So on my pinky finger on my right hand, I'm wearing my Blue Boho Legacy Ring. This is just like a plain gold band. You could get it engraved, but I didn't get it engraved. It. I think I've had it for the past two years, maybe a little bit longer than that, and it's held up pretty well. I mean, for what it is, it's all scratched up, but it's meant to be like that, like I'm wearing it every single day. So the gold is gonna be more scratched, but this is a 14 karat gold ring. I eventually wanted to layer it. I think I'm gonna do a whole different video about like my jewelry wish list. It just hasn't been a priority for me, but I would love to do like a thin, like pave diamond band to go on top of it. I just, or underneath it, or on both sides. I just haven't gotten around to buying it. I feel like jewelry is such a slow process. So uh, yeah, we're, we're moving along slowly. Up next is my middle finger. This has changed drastically. If you guys watch my jewelry collection video, you guys know that this is from my collection with true curated designs. It's a, a huge thing that happened to me in 2022. I launched a collection with the brand. I love it. This is one of my favorite pieces from the collection. There's actually two rings stacked, stacked on top of each other. There's like a green colored gemstone ring and this is how kind of kind of how they look like apart but I love to wear them together. Um, I do wear them apart though and they're kind of like staggered and different sizes. They're a pear shape. Uh, is it a pear? Yeah, that's a pear shaped diamond or a no, pear shaped gem. They're just beautiful i love them so much there's so many different ways to wear them so i typically wear them like this but um you can wear them the same in the same direction as well like that and then you can wear them by themselves i just like to wear them staggered so like the the two larger gems are diagonal from each other and the two smaller ones are diagonal from each other and i just love this so I don't know what to add to my hand yet from here. Like I, I think last year when I did this, I was wearing a, a ring on my uh, ring finger and my pointer finger. And I really just minimized it down because I think that this is kind of a statement piece. Yeah, I do want to get like a pointer finger ring. And I realized like I'm, I'm absolutely not a minimalist. Like I did have a phase when I started buying jewelry and getting into fine jewelry where I was buying like the really, really thin like stacking type of rings. You guys know what I'm talking about, the super, super thin ones. I have so many of them. I think I have like 10 of them, different kinds where I stack them and I don't like that. I realize like I'm not a minimalistic person. I would love to be a maximalist one day, I think. Um, but I just don't like a dainty, like some invisible things almost. Like if I'm gonna wear something, I'm gonna wear something. You're gonna see it. So for my rings, I kind of had to pair the girl backwards because I, I bought so many of these teeny tiny fine thin rings and like I don't really like them anymore. Anyways, that being said, from here I don't know where to go yet for it to be tasteful because this ring is so like it's a statement or these rings are a statement piece. I don't want to go too too hard with like another ring on my um, pointer finger. There's a ring on my wish list that's like a chain link ring that I really like but I think the two of them next to each other would be a lot, but you know, I could switch it back and forth throughout the days. I just, 
I'm still really obsessed with this. So I wear it every single day. So I'm trying to find something that will complement it well. I think maybe something without stones, like no diamonds, no gems, maybe something like solid gold, but with like a cool shape or design might be okay because this is already such a statement. We'll see. We'll see where I go from there. So moving on to my left hand, this has stayed exactly the same, I believe. So I have um, my wedding band and my engagement ring. Wow. Well, <laughs> so I have my wedding band and my engagement ring. My engagement ring, I'll start with that one. It is an emerald cut with a cushion around it. And then there's small diamonds on the side in the Y shape. It doesn't go all the way around. And then for my wedding band, it is a micro pave diamond band and also it doesn't go all the way around the back it's just the plain band no diamonds this the engagement ring is from le Bryce jewelers that's my husband's like family jeweler that they use and then the ring of the bottom my wedding band is from michael m both pieces i love very very much love them i actually would love to stack another ring here i have like we're gonna do a wishlist video okay i keep talking about my wishlist uh, but yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to stacking like another ring there, hint, hint, husband. Up next is my Cartier Juston Clue with diamonds and the rose gold. I still like it a lot. I wear it. Um, and then my favorite, it's so crazy because it's such a simple ring, but this is one of my favorites. This is my Cartier Trinity ring. Um, it's like all three, white gold, yellow gold, and rose gold, and I just... I sit and I do this and it's very nostalgic of when I was younger I had like a, a, a ring very similar to this except for it was all silver and I would do this all the time so that's why it's my favorite like I feel very naked when I'm not wearing this ring okay moving on to my wrist so my right wrist has stayed the same from last year I am wearing my small shoes on clue in the yellow gold and then my love bracelet the small love bracelet with diamonds like the pave diamonds in the yellow gold as well here um yeah i've tried a couple things i even like my new edition we'll, we'll go back to that so on my left hand last year i was only wearing i think these two forever bracelets these are from one's from melanie ald and one is from leah alexandra these are vancouver based jewelry stores like fine jewelry stores and they they have stores in toronto as well so you go get like your forever bracelet these are like bestie bracelets with my best friend and then i added the van cleef and arpel alhambra within the onyx i was so on the fence i didn't know what to do uh if you guys follow me on instagram i put up a poll like i went to try them on in the store and everything in the gold but they didn't have the one that i wanted so like the i can't remember the name of it but i'll put a picture up I tried on that and I, I tried on the onyx and I just really love the contrast of it. I really love black. I can wear a lot of black. I really like the onyx. So I bought this with the intention of stacking it with my stack over here, but I did not like it. Not even like the gold one, I didn't like it. So I'm trying to figure out what to add to this side. There'll be another Cartier or if I'm over it or like a, what's it called? Um, tennis bracelet. I tried on one of those and ooh, girl. Maybe a tennis bracelet. I hope a tennis bracelet is in my immediate future. So we'll move here. So the Van Cleef and Arpel. I love, love, love this bracelet so much, you guys. Oh my God, I do want another one. It's so crazy because this was such a thing in like the Asian community some years ago, maybe like a decade ago, like all the moms and aunties had the Van Cleef and then they all got over it. And then now like we're back. Everybody loves a Van Cleef and Arpel. Love that for us. Um, I got this size to fit my wrist. I didn't even know that they offered that service. This is my first Van Cleef purchase. And I went into the store and they have like sizing bracelets to try on to see which size is best for you. And I had like, not argued <laughs> with uh, the, per the salesperson that helped me, but she had suggested that I go a centimeter up. So I think she suggested that I go 18 so that I would have taken off four lengths but I went 17 because I just like, I hate, I hate it. I hate it. It's like a pet peeve of mine. When people have bracelets on, it goes like down to here on their hand when they have their hand down. It just irks me so much. So I was like, no, 17. So they took off eight links for me. And at first, I'm not going to lie, it was so uncomfortable. And I feel like I, I didn't watch enough videos 
or video reviews on them. Um, so I didn't know this, but because it's like a chain link ring with these big charms, they flip over, you know, like they'll do that and flip. So I had never worn it before. And then if they flip enough, it gets so tight on my wrist because there's not that much extra room since I didn't have them take off. I, I had them take off so many links. So I don't know, at this point I'm so used to it and it doesn't really flip as much anymore. And even if it does, it doesn't bother my wrist anymore, but it'll like sit from here and go down to here. I think I have enough room to add on another one if I want to add on another one. And I do want to add on another one. You guys know the, the jewelry, the fine jewelry journey is slower. You know, I'm not a bajillionaire yet. And when I am, then maybe we'll just be adding things. So up next is currently I'm wearing this, but I go in and out of wearing this bracelet. This is an evil eye bracelet from David Yurman. I would honestly wear this every single day with my stack, but I don't because of the size of it. So I don't know if you guys can see here, but you cannot get this size very unfortunate so it's like significantly bigger than the rest of my bracelet so it's it's like it can sit low and i hate the gap but if it didn't if it was sized i think it fits beautifully on my stack over here and i love an evil eye piece you know evil eye to ward off evil so this is yellow gold with the onyx beads and then i think it's an emerald stone in the eye i love it i love it a lot a lot a lot okay moving on to my neck on my neck i am wearing the same necklace from last year this is the melanie ald ball chain i think this is 16 inches so it's like not quite a choker but not far off that it sits like right where my collarbone is i like that and then for the charm this is from my true curated designs collection i we offer it in three or for the baubles, they come in four different styles. So there is the white topaz in the short length, white topaz in the long length, on the solid gold in the long length, and then a green tourmaline in the long length or short length, my bad. So right now I am wearing a white one in the, the short and the long, and then a gold one in the long. And I just really like this because you can keep adding and I like the look of it. Usually I wear two, but I had a big thing happen in life recently. And I was like, let me add a third, like kind of add it like accolades and stuff in my life. And I hope that, you know, if people do buy this and wear this, they can do something similar, you know, buy three for your kids or wear three for your kids or whatever it is. Right. But for me right now, it's like big accolades in my life. So there's three. <laughs> Hopefully we can add more. I really, really love it. These are gold. These are 10 karat gold. We'll move on to my ears. And like I said earlier, my ears are probably what has changed the most. So my ears have gotten a little more complex as well. So I'm going to start with this side, which was my left side. And I think since I've done this video, I have a new piercing, but in each ear, I have seven ear piercings. So I typically only change my first earring and you know what, I'll show you guys that first. So in my first piercing, I am a hoop gal at heart, the bigger the hoop, the... <laughs> you guys can finish that. You guys can pick how you want to finish that. But this one is my newest hoop and I really love it. This is kind of my largest hoop for day to day. This is 50 millimeters, so five centimeters across in diameter. This is 10 karat gold. It's hollow, it's not heavy at all. And there's no like crazy clasp. It's just one of those where you put it right back in like that. Easy peasy, easy peasy. So this one, I feel like this is a lot more of a like nighttime thing if I'm going out at all in the evening i will reach for this unless i'm wearing like fun costume jewelry next up this is another pair of earrings that sits in my first hole very very often these are like medium sized hoop earrings this is as big as i usually go for work like if i have a meeting and stuff and i want to do bigger hoops this is usually the size that i go for this is like the bold one this is my these are from Majuri. These are the bold, medium sized bold hoops. I really, really like them. They're easy. This one, it clicks, so it opens like this and then 
clicks close. And they're just plain gold, easy peasy for every day. I don't match my ears, you guys will see shortly. So this is like every day. I swear I wore these two earrings for three months straight and I didn't wear anything else. I was obsessed and I still wear them a lot. So for Huggies, which I do quite, quite often, I wear these two small earrings. So the green one is a the enamel pop earring from Porter Lions. I absolutely love this earring so much. It has a diamond in it, some emeralds in it, and then this little enamel green. Green is my favorite color, so to nobody's surprise, this is one of my favorite earrings. So I wear this on my left side, and it's like a almost a full Porter Lions ear. I love that brand. Deeply, deeply love that brand. And then on my right side, I am I wear my True Curated Collab Earring. This is a bezeled earring. I also have a ring from my collection that looks like this. There, they go like gold and then the gemstone, gold, gemstone, gold, gemstone. It's just the white gemstone. And I wear it on my first earring. So they're, they're very similar in size. They're just different style. And I like that they don't match. And they're a little mixed mess. So, you know, I'm gonna take these out and I'll wear the Huggies so you guys can see everything clearer. So like, this is my every single day. And a lot of the time I take off my first earring to sleep in, but the rest of them I leave in. For the Huggies, I'm not gonna lie, there are days where I just leave them in because there's no like backing, like the pointed back thing to stab the back of my head or the side of my head when I'm sleeping. So I'll just leave them in. Okay, so starting with the left ear, again, the first earring is the Porter Lions. And then I have a stacked piercing where the top earring I am wearing a princess cut diamond so the princess cut diamond is three millimeters it is 0.2 carats yellow gold and it is a flat back earring this is from porter lions you guys porter lions is one of my favorite brands because they have so many flat back earrings and there's like another brand a maria tash which is an earring i'm wearing here but this is i find that the porter lions has a lot more um, reasonable price point the maria tash ones are a little bit more like designer prices it's a little bit it's a lot, it's a lot, it's not a little bit, it's a lot. <laughs> so that is the top of the stacked piercing. And then at the bottom, I am wearing a double diamond chain earring. And that is a 0 0.07 carat. And it goes from the second bottom stack to my fourth piercing, or I guess fifth technically, but fourth in the line. And it's just a little chain. I think it's so cute. It's a small enough chain that it doesn't bother anything. Like when I'm brushing my hair and stuff, I don't get it cut. I've worn bigger chains before. Like I wore, I used to wear a chain that was like from a low piercing up to my helix piercing. And I used to get that thing caught on everything, everything. But this is small enough that it doesn't, but it's still obvious that there is a chain on my ear. Love it. Deeply love it. All right, in my third piercing, there is a mini pear-shaped diamond threaded flat back. These are all flat back except for the chain, the, the double chain. This one is 0.2 carats yellow gold. Next up on my ear is my helix piercing, and this is for another piece from Porter Lions. It's just a small hoop um, with three diamonds. So it has a center diamond that's a square and then two triangle diamonds on the side. It just looks like a cute little ring i actually love it so much in a different life i think i would have liked this style for my engagement ring with an emerald cut and then like the two diamonds on the side like maybe a tra trapezoid trapeze trapezoid type style diamonds on the side um yeah so instead i'm wearing it in my ear <laughs> and then the last earring in my ear is my one of my new piercings this is my conch piercing which i was so scared about and it has a Maria Tash star in it with diamonds. It's super cute. This is like nine months old now. It's almost been a year. Oh my God. And it's almost ready to be changed. I think I'm going to change it into a beautiful Maria Tash hoop one day. I had, like I said, we're going to do a wish list video guys, but Maria Tash is expensive, but also for Porter Lions and Maria Tash, I love their jewelry because they do have the flat back and I can sleep on them. And then also I really, really love that they have like the screw on so much. I love them so much. I have a very, very few like press pin th threadless jewelry and I deeply hate them because I don't think they have longevity. 
because after a while of like putting them on taking them off they will not do that anymore and it's not safe and they'll like fly off and you'll lose pieces it's stupid but these pieces you'll screw them in and they're not going anywhere nowhere okay I've, I've had some of these in for like months and months and like I'm a rough person and they've never come out of my ears so top notch I highly highly recommend okay we're moving on to the last my right ear so this was a pet project because I didn't like this ear after spending so much time on my left ear like piercings and curating but I've since fallen in love with this one too so this has seven piercings as well three cartilage piercings which are fairly new so we'll start on the lobe so on the lobe my first is what I showed you guys earlier the true curated collab that I did and then my second piercing is for my second hole, there's a small diamond pave huggy from Porter Lions, I believe. Yes. And then my third... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So my third one, I really love this earring and hate it all at the same time. So this is two pieces, two separate pieces from Pupil Hall. This is a press push pin style earring. It is absolutely stunning, super unique. It's like dangling diamonds, like dangling bezel diamonds. And it has like the Sprite pin top, which is a small diamond with like two little gold things sticking out of it that are not the same size, they're a little bit staggered. I think it's so beautiful. The fact that it's a press pin, push pin, makes me hate it so much because there has already been one occasion where it popped out of my ear and I lost it for like hours and by, I don't know, a, so much luck, I randomly found it hours later after being very miserable. These are gold so and, and diamonds, so not the cheapest. <laughs> so very annoying. Up next is my stud. I think the only stud I did in my collection. So this is for my True Curated collection as well. I love this earring so much. This isn't a flat back. Um, but I do wear a very large backing on it with like a rubber back like it's it has the metal part But also has a rubber bit so it takes up the length of the back So it's not stabbing into my head. So I wear this all the time, but this is a three Diamond bezeled earring and it's just slightly unique because it curves So it kind of looks like where I wear it on my ear. It kind of looks like it's a small huggy, but it's not It's just a little stud I love it. I deeply, deeply love this earring. So up next is my Tragus piercing. This one, I don't think I've changed since last year. This is the Lotus Tragus from, well, the Lotus jewelry from Maria Tash that I'm wearing in my Tragus. This is probably my favorite Maria Tash piece that I own. I love it so much. This is in rose gold, but you can't even tell. They didn't have the gold at the time I was buying it, the yellow gold, but I mix metal, so I don't care. And then my two newest piercings, are up top so these two flat piercings are brand new i think i got them in september or november i can't remember which month so they're very new they're still healing they're healing pretty well i can sleep on my right side they are like a you know i like a double you guys can tell there's a stacked piercing here and there's a stacked piercing on my other side i just like them so on this one i'm wearing a diamond like a let me see which size from maria tash so you guys know so it's in yeah it's an invisible set diamond threaded stud earring and this is the okay this is the two millimeter diamond in my ear the smallest they have is 1.5 and the largest they have in this style is five millimeters diamond and it's just invisible you can't see the like gold parts no prongs or anything it's just kind of like a floating diamond i love that initially i was going to do like two diamonds and then instead I, I decided to do the diamond and then it's a flat gold pear shaped pierce or earring. I love it. I think it's so cute. They go so cute together. But I will say that once it does heal and if I do change it, what well, I eventually will change it, I don't know what I would put in it. Like they would have to match it as well. So at first I was going to get only one and then I really liked the combination of the two together. But I don't know what I'm going to do after it heals. Like if I do ever change it, what am I changing it to? It ha they have to match. 
Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite piece and I will see you guys in the next video.